Hi everyone, it's Anna from Bookslayer, and I'm going to be telling you guys about a couple books that I'm going to be unhauling. There's only a couple of books in here. There's five books. So if you want to um, click out and you're not interested, I understand. But I just want to talk about a couple books that I have. I don't go through mass unhauls like a lot of people do just because I I buy books in not a ton like at a time and I just kind of like I, I only get rid of books that I had that I read and didn't like for the most part it, I, I buy everything with my own money or it's stuff that I've gotten as gifts and so I usually don't get rid of books that I, I I haven't read yet that's just a personal thing I don't feel like my TBR is so out of hand that I have to do that but every, one and what people on haul is so personal just for me at this time I do want to get rid of these books I don't want to just hang on to them and so I want I would rather form like a small unhaul than wait for a big one in a couple months so you might have another you might have like an unhaul coming every couple of months but they're not going to be like giant unhauls for the most part but here is a little unhaul and let's just get into it so the first book that I'm going to be unhauling is like the exception to the rule of books I haven't read Hot by you by Jennifer Bernard um so this book I got for three dollars as you can say at like Dollar Tree or something like that um and I was really excited about it because I have not read any ma um, mass pay mass market paperback romances and I mean like it sounded cute you know but it is actually like the first in a series um and I think there's like there's like multiple novels in this series um and I just like I don't feel attached enough to like this to, to really invest that much in it um I like romance I've never really read more than like young adult romance and I do want to change that but I have like a bunch of other um ones that like my mom has that she's given to me um to read and I would rather invest my time reading those to see if I like it than just kind of than like buying the first book and buying the rest of the books and all of that so I am going to be saying goodbye I mean like you never know one day maybe I'll be interested in it but it's a baseball romance I don't even can't really tell you much other than that so it's not even something that really like intrigues me that much I just thought that would be cute and it was for a cheap price and I need to control myself the book I want to talk about is the one book on this list that if I did keep anything it would be this one and I'm I'm having Having such a hard time like parting with it because I don't want to part with this book but it is Alex and Eliza by Melissa de la Cruz um I love musicals I need to give Hamilton a full listen but I love musicals and this cover is beautiful it is like and I love history U U.S. history a little less but I love your Euro world history European history and especially Tudor history so like it seemed like something that I would really like um like everything and even like the exterior of this book like I said the cover is beautiful this is so cute there's a heart it's pink it's everything but I did not like this book I gave it like a two star rating or like a 2.75 2.5 like something like that um this book I it dealt with sexual assault in a way that was really unnecessary to the story and it was very I think it was a horrendous representation of it um that was my personal opinion um with reading it I just think it was very poorly done and ill-researched um and I, I I just was not a big fan of it at all um and I, that just made this book completely unforgiving and on top of that the writing in this book I did not enjoy it it was um it was like it because it isn't it's supposed to be narrated by someone who lived at a different time it sounds so it sound very old-fashioned but I just didn't click with it personally and someone else I know might click with it but for me it just didn't um but uh, I just I didn't really enjoy it that much um and that's fine so I, I know I should get rid of it but I want to keep it I'm not going to read the rest of the book which is really sad because I thought I, I started reading the Descendants stuff by her and I own the second book and I really liked the first book it was like a solid four star read or something like that so I was really optimistic that I was gonna like this but because it's by the same author but I just I, I didn't like it I'm sorry next book I want to talk about you all are probably gonna attack me for it um, but it is A Very Large Expanse of Sea by Tahara Mafi. I didn't hate this book, as I said. Um, I thought that this book was, I can't comment on the representation of, um, the is Islamic faith and on Islamophobia, which are, which Islamophobia is a trigger warning for this novel. Um, but I just, like, I'm not gonna reread it. I liked it, but I didn't, it's not an absolute favorite of mine, so I just can't see me ever rereading it and me really mentioning it that much because it was kind of a, like, 
three star four star, I think it was a three star maybe a four star read so it's just not something that I feel like I'm going to talk about on my channel much either so and I just think that this book is so important because the Islamic faith is so rarely represented in literature at least from what I've seen that I just think that this will give it an opportunity for someone else to read it and maybe enjoy it and be impacted by it so this follows the story of a teenager um in 2002 right after 9-11 who is a Muslim teenager and she's dealing with a lot of hate and Islamophobia and racism from her school so I want to talk about is one that I'm pretty pretty like okay with getting rid of because I didn't like the book but the cover is really beautiful and it is The Proposal by Jasmine Golaroy. This is a adult romance novel about a girl who's proposed to by her boyfriend that she doesn't really like very much and she goes on pages of rant about how like he should they should have planned it more and so they get they break up and she meets a new guy and I just I couldn't stand the main character in this novel I didn't agree with a lot of her morals and a lot of her um like every everything and just the way that she talked and I'm not like defending what her boyfriend did but like I I, I also like he's not in he's not and he's not in the right either but I just I, I couldn't stand her um and I I didn't really enjoy the writing wasn't bad so maybe I'll pick up something by her in the future. I just, I couldn't. I was so happy when this book was done. And I didn't even really ship, like, the people you're supposed to ship very much. Like, I was like, okay, just get together so the book can be over. But, like, I just, I didn't really. It, it just wasn't for me. And I, I want to try out more adult romance in the future. Maybe this means I'm not supposed to like adult romance. Maybe that's not my thing. But I love young adult romance. So I want to like adult romance, too. I just didn't like this book. But this novel is incredible. It also is a very um diverse romance novel because it follows multiple main characters of color which I think is a great thing that we need to see more of but um yeah it just wasn't exactly for me and the last book I want to talk about is a book that I have I think it's still up I don't think I took it down but I might take it down I have a solo review of it and my opinion on it has changed I didn't reread it it's just I feel like I'm in a different place in my life where I view it differently it's Cradle and All by James Patterson I remember I said in my review oh um I I'm a religious person and I'm not offended by it but I just feel like I'm, I'm a much more religious person now like I was just kind of moderately religious when I made the video and now I feel like I'm a lot more religious and so I just don't feel like I, I should have and now this book offends me a little bit more um this book is about um two teenage girls who are virgins and are pregnant and one of them's carrying the son of god and one's carrying the son of the devil um which really intrigued me and i do think that if that isn't something that you are going to be bothered by that this is a very interesting novel i think it was like four stars for me or something like that um when i initially read it but i just because of where i am in that point i just don't really want to have something like this on my shelves um so i'm going to be giving it away and someone else can enjoy it um and I hope that you guys aren't seeing this as me imposing my views on you I'm just saying that I I personally just don't want to have this on my shelves because it offends me a little bit um not in a way that I'm mad for someone else for expressing their artistic opinion but just in a way that like I didn't read something that makes me upset in that way I guess and this kind of looking at it makes me upset so I'm not gonna read it anymore so those are the books that I'm getting rid of um I hope you enjoyed this video and I'm very sorry if I'm getting rid of one of your favorite books um and I just I hope I don't offend you I'm really sorry but my opinions have just changed on some of these and I just think that it's better for me to take those five books off my shelf and make room for five books that I love or five books that I want to read so yeah I'm really excited I love you all and I hope you all have a great day goodbye